Hello everybody, Flick here. It's time for yet another Let's Look At. Today we are taking a look at Suicide Guy by Chubby Pixel. Well, Chubby Pixel published it. I believe it might also just be the same guy who made it, and that's just his publishing branch. As far as I'm aware, it's made by one person, potentially, plus some... Yeah, some outsourcing. And... Did that TV just swear? Uh, hopefully I talked over it. Anyway, this is a, it's essentially just a puzzle game with a little bit of a unique twist. You play as this slob here who has fallen asleep while watching TV and dropped his beer. You're having kind of like a waking dream and you're aware that your beer is falling. So your goal is to get through all your dreams as fast as possible via killing yourself in them so that you can wake up and stop your beer from hitting the floor. I played it for an hour and 20 minutes off camera. With that, I've done, I believe, 10 or 11 of the puzzles so far, and I've collected most, but not all of the collectibles, which is just, like, there's a collectible to hide, or hidden, rather, on every level. So this is kind of, this is the framing. I'm not sure why, but you're working in a diner. You can see that your beer is falling, and you're very upset about that. So it might be a little loud. The game's volume is a little off. I've got it down pretty low, like also you can also just only do effect, I'm just going to blow it on the PC, hang on. There we go, just bring it down a bit more. So yeah, for whatever reason, the framing is a restaurant, there's your beer over there. And each of these tables, numbered tables, are one of the puzzles I've done. And it gives you a hint about the theme, and if it has a little statue next to it, it means I found the collectible available on the mission. This is a budget priced game, available on Steam, I was given the review code for it. It's £3.99 and I'm seeing the price first because it is a little bare bones. It's just, just a little bit and I also have one major problem. We're going to try and solve a puzzle I'm up to live, which is this one here. You can't really see it but it's an egg. And I couldn't do it because the game glitched and made it impossible. Which is a known issue as it turns out. We'll talk more about that in a second though. Let's do this one because it involves a lot of climbing. So let's jump into... I, I left clicked it and it minimised my game. There we go. So we're going to go into this dream, we're going to see a huge tower. And our goal is to get to the top so we can jump off and splat. Because that's the only way to end ourselves in this particular mission. WSC to move, mouse to look around. Left click to use things, E to hold things, Q to blink for no reason at all. At least it hasn't been relevant in any of the missions for me so far yet. You'll find a lot of these radios and they're always playing music and the music is always way too loud. So I'm just going to turn that off for now. So yeah, we just need to kind of parkour our way as best you can when you're playing as a slob. Like, look at that belly. So we're going to start by just shoving this along here. This is one I've done, so I know where I'm going. Get used to the grunts he makes when he moves as well. The noise and what have you. Like, do you hear how loud that is? That's that making the noise. Like, the sound is a little out of whack. Oh, very nearly fell there. That would be embarrassing. Oh, I did fall. I was overzealous because I want to go turn the radio off. I think you are supposed to jump down to there first, but I'm... Yeah, I made that last time. So through here... It's another little puzzle. Well, of sorts. It's mostly just a jumpy puzzle at this point. I'm trying to remember why this is here. Because I can just make those jumps, I think. Which just, it's leading me to believe perhaps there's some kind of secret that you can use that block for. I found the statue on this map, though. But maybe there's something else hidden that I don't know about. Not all the levels look like... Oh, that's why you need it. You need it here. Not all the levels look like this. They all have different themes. Like, I'll quickly show off. There's a very short one that's a, it's a portal reference. The one I'm up to is a Jurassic Park reference. There's like a, a sci-fi, a generic sci-fi one. You could call it any sci-fi property, really. Right, so this one was a bit more involved, because you need to get from there to there by spacing out these pillars correctly. Again, the music is way too loud. The radio was up there somewhere. I mean, I noticed it just when I was playing it in my own time, how out of whack the volume of the radios were. It's even more apparent when I've got my headset on for this recording. Just trying to make sure they they might be too far apart. Just kind of come down here. Yeah, they're probably too far apart. We just shift that a little bit. That might be doable. Oh come on. Let's see. If we can get up there. 
I think when the game launched, the mantling was a little bit harder and has been made easier on based on feedback. Which is a good thing. Let's just uh, there we go, click that off. So now we need to work out how to get up to the rafters. Because our only goal is get high enough to off ourselves. I'm not sure what that noise is that we're hearing. It's like a turbine. Maybe we'll just come in through here into the vents. I haven't been particularly challenged by the game across the puzzles. Some of them are a bit lengthy. Uh, on the sci-fi one I was mentioning, it took me a little while to work out what was going on, and it's because it glitched. Like, you're supposed to go into hyper... I don't want to spoil the whole solution, but you, you, you need to make the ship you're in go into hyperspeed so you can do something. And I hit the switch in the control room, nothing happened, and then you're supposed to realize, oh, you have to go to the engine room, sort a problem in there. That makes the power work so that you can pilot the ship. I did that, I activated the engine, I came back and just nothing was working. It was acting as if I hadn't powered the ship on yet and it glitched. Upon restarting the mission and trying it again, it worked. But the game is not flawless and that's one of two times that's happened. And the second time it's happened, I couldn't finish a level again and just kind of couldn't be bothered doing it again. Because it, it was a reflex based one, which is very frustrating when you've done it right. And then the game just doesn't register you've done it right. I know you could argue like jumping off of here might be fatal IRL, but you're using the game's terms, so you have to get much higher than that. And for the puzzle I got up to when it, again, kind of seemed to just be in a fail state and nothing was working, I decided to look up the solution because I was like, if, the, if I'm doing this wrong, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. So I looked it up and I was doing it right. It's a known issue. People have experienced the same problem. It's just a thing that can happen where it doesn't work. We're going to try and do it live in a second here. Anyway, here we go. Enjoy. What the? It's not always about jumping off a high height, incidentally. There are some very creative ways you have to work out to make the end come. Let's try the... Yeah, let's quickly just show you the portal one. It's super quick. If you've played Portal, you know what to do to kill yourself. Because you don't have Chell's legs. Just whoop, and then whoop. Fall forever, and then go like that. And then like that. Just move the circle so that there's nothing underneath you once you're moving at speed, and you instantly splat. Very, very simple. So, let's try the one I'm up to, and see if I can get it to work this time. Yes, yeah, this egg one. Here we go. He'll occasionally mumble the Jurassic Park theme to himself, but I'm pretty sure it's off key enough that it won't get detected. Anyway, we have this T-Rex here, and the goal is get the T-Rex to kill you. So first thing we're going to do is pick this up, free the egg. The egg is super resilient. There's a laser here that will burn it, but it's not hot enough. The goal is to heat the egg up through three stages, and you have a laser, you have a microwave, and you have a gas cooker, or a stove. So the goal is you have to very quickly, without missing a prompt kind of do the egg in all three before it cools down in order to crack it. I tried that, tried it multiple times in every order imaginable, did not work. So it's going to heat up, we're going to put it over here, going to warm it up, I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it there, and it should break, but it did not. And granted, I might have been too slow. I'm not sure of the speed. But needless to say, I tried every permutation of order. And it just would not do it. Like, you see it cools down to white. It's supposed to stay red. That's the thing. I don't know. Maybe now that I've let it smoke, that's what you're actually supposed to wait for. Rather than the colour. That's the one thing I didn't do. But the devs answered people who were having the same problem as me. And was like, you just have to do it quick. Like, that does not seem any redder to me. That's about as red as it can go. It's already white before I put it in there, so... I don't know. Yeah, he's going to keep on humming the Jurassic Park theme song, and it's certainly not going to be irritating in the slightest. It, just, it does not seem to work as intended. Okay. Granted, that time the egg fell over, but still. Like, it heats. Why are you falling off all the time now? There we are. 
Can I just hold it? That might work. It stayed red there. Actually, let's already have this on. I tried this already, but yeah, see, it cools down instantly. Nope. So it's still broken. I've, I've tried every order of doing these in. And it just does not seem to be functioning. I don't know if the game has been recently patched and it broke something or if something just isn't registering. Or maybe I am missing something. All I can say is I looked up the solution to make sure I wasn't. Apparently I'm not. It's supposed to go from three phases of red as you do it very quickly. I've tried doing it very quickly. It's not working. So I can't progress in the game then. Is that any redder than it was before? I don't believe so. And it instantly turned white as soon as I picked it up. So I don't think that's a speed issue. Yeah, it instantly turned white again. I'm going to throw it at the wall. So I can't get any further in the game. I have reached a stopping point. I believe through no fault of my own. So we're just going to go back to our menu because I can't do that mission. I don't know how to proceed. I have looked up the solution. I have watched the solution. I have copied the solution and it doesn't work. It's possible it's just so tight that I'm just doing it like half a second too slow, but it's it's not acting like it should. The, the egg is cooling down instantly as opposed to giving you any time to move it from one heatable to the other. So, you know, assuming this is as many as you can do currently because the game is glitched, you can do 11 missions. It is only $3.99, but it's incredibly disappointing that it's busted. And that's not the only mission. The, where is it, the spaceship mission? Yeah, this one. Spaceship mission. Had to restart that once because I encountered a similar glitch where it just wasn't finishing, even though I did the solution correctly. Which is a great shame. Now, if it's a one-person game or a largely one-person game, that's slightly forgivable, but it's not excusable. All right, I'm beeping outside. I think there's a truck reversing and it's scaring the dog. It's okay, Sora. It's fine. Let's do one more mission. I don't want to solve a solution for all these for you, but we'll do this one because I thought this was quite clever. The solution to this one. Simple setup. We're in a lighthouse. We're going to turn that off immediately. There's a whale over there, and there was a boat over there, so I assumed I had to, like, signal the boat somehow because we have control of a lighthouse here. But there's more to it than that. So then I saw, like, oh, yes, okay, so there's Moby Duck instead of Moby Dick. Then I saw there's this lamp here, so I was like... Okay, you probably have to put that in there. That's very loud in there, isn't it? Let me just close my window. I apologize for that. The truck is apparently deciding to camp outside. So I thought, right, okay, you put the lamp in there, and sure enough, you have yourself a little beacon. So then I was like, okay, you must have to signal the ship or something, maybe get it to crash into the whale, It'll annoy the whale, and the whale will kill you. I was half right, and I must admit, this, actually, this is probably the puzzle that stumped me the longest just because I thought I'd done it right when there was an extra step I was missing. And I'm curious... If you watching have managed to work out what the extra step is that I've missed. If I show you from this angle, I've given you enough information. And I'm curious. I'm going to give you like 10 seconds to see if you can work it out. Honestly, if I show you from this angle as well, I've also given you enough information. So the trick that I was missing was, you don't put the lamp in there, you destroy the lamp and steal the bulb. Why is the bulb suddenly brighter? Good question. But it is now, and we can use it to bother the whale. And the whale does not enjoy being bothered. So now we're going to have to wait for him to surface again somewhere. Oh, I hear him somewhere. There he is. Let's shine the overly bright light right on him. He's getting more and more miffed. Where are you at? Oh, there he is. How do you like them apples? He's not very pleased. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to kick that into there. I think it's from this side next. Here, I'll blink for no reason. Oh, there he is. So now he has broken the light. So we need to do this. 
and have this at the ready. To annoy him just one or two more times. Here he comes. Hey there. Yep, shining that right in your eyeball. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I imagine it's very annoying. No where is he? Oh, look at that. Here he comes. Bore me! And that's how you do that one. The statue I'd already picked up, so it wasn't there. I think I've got the statue in every one apart from the tutorial mission. Let's just quickly jump into the tutorial. I, I immediately jumped off the train thinking that was how you were to kill yourself. But if you do that, you don't. You have to kind of stand on the track and wait for another one to appear. So let's see if I can see if there's a collectible hidden here somewhere that I missed. Up there maybe? No. Up there? No. Oh, I'll actually go out there. But not in there. Back here, perhaps? Oh, yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, I missed it. So all you're supposed to do here is just jump off. Come back! Please! Boy, this sure seems dangerous. <laughs> So my final thoughts on Suicide Guy, it's fairly priced, it is a very low cost game. It's fun, it's not challenging, and it has bugs. That's that's about it. Would I recommend it? Let, I mean, assume that maybe I'm doing something wrong with this puzzle or it'll be fixed. Keep an eye on it if so. Fix that, there's a bunch more puzzles, I believe there's a bunch of bonus puzzles as well. So default goes up to, what, 22? 23, 24. I guess some of them might be. I think the ones on these types of chairs are bonus levels. They've been added like post content. Interesting premise. Also, I, just as a little other complaint, the name of the game is bad. I think should have been something sillier. It doesn't send the right message. If you, I mean, you're killing yourself, yes, but you're killing yourself in your dreams, which is a little bit different. Anyway, that's just a, a small problem I had with it. If you're interested, I will link. I guess is that how much time I have to do all the missions or something? I only just noticed that. There's time until the door opens, maybe. Oh, wait, you're finishing the puzzle, so it's your stop time or wake-up time, and then you can walk over to the beer. That's where it is. So, yeah, I'm almost halfway through then. So that makes sense, because the egg puzzle is 11. So it would be 22 levels. So, yeah, the other ones are bonus levels. Anyway, that is Suicide Guy. I will link to the Steam Store page for the game in the description box below, so check it out if you're interested and read reviews of other people who've proceeded further than me than I've been able to due to not being able to finish that egg puzzle as intended, in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.